Okay, hello everyone. So I was working on an exterior visualization project and I ran into a problem where I wanted to animate this entrance gate also with this car and make the car go inside and just park there. But every time I want to select the doors, I can only I can only select the combine meshes together or the geometries. What I mean by that is I have the original file open in my Revit file and I was using the D5 link. So as you see, it's already linked. So the problem with this link is that the model is linking the entire 3D model, but I only want to select the gates separately. So to do this, what you want to do is go into your Revit file, select the gates and just hide them. Right click, hide in view by elements. After you hide the gates, go back to your D5 tab and just sync the model again. As you can see, after it finishes the, the sync, the gate will not be included on the linked files. So after you're done linking into your D5 render, go back to your project, go back to your Revit project, reveal hidden elements, unhide it once again, select it, and what we're doing here is that we're trying to separate the gate from the other models. So go to your temporary hide and isolate, isolate element. So now we only have the gate. Why you have your gate in the temporary <coughs> isolation mode? You can export it. You can export it to your desired location. So as you can see, I already exported it once. So let's just replace it. And now let's go back to the D5. Go to your import tab. As you can see, I already have the gates here, but for your case, you're going to go to import. You look for the files we just exported. So right here, there's the gate. So open it and we have a second gate. Let's just delete this, I don't want it. So we have the gate here. After that, let's just select it and it will be loaded in the project. As you can see, we only have the gate now. That means we can control its movement. Let's just quickly set the location. There we go. So now since we have the other files and the gates separately, so we can select the gate separately, we can animate it in the animation tab. So now let's do the actual animation and work with the keyframes. So what you want to do next is go to your video tab. Uh, I have already have a bunch of camera sets, so let's just remove all of them. Delete all clips, delete, add. Let's set our camera where we want. Take the first screenshot and then just move it a little bit to the left. And just do another. And let's make the animation a bit longer, like eight seconds. Eight or yeah, six seconds. Maybe eight is enough. Okay. After setting our timeline, as you can see, our camera is moving within eight seconds. Most of the time, what I what I want to do is select the camera shots and make the movements linear, so I don't have a is in and is out, so the move, the camera movement will be constant. Not constant, actually linear. What I mean by that is, if I play this, it's going to be a constant speed. After that, go to your first timeline, select your door, and just, as you can see, we can have here location, rotation, and size. 
and right on the top there is a keyframe <coughs> you can press key for the hot keys let's just add a keyframe here which is closed right now so let's go to the right here and just move it along the x press the keyframe once again and go to the last frame move it back and just add a keyframe again so now if you go back to the start and play the animation it's gonna open and it's gonna close but what I want is I want the door to stay open for a bit longer so the car can go in to do that all you have to do is select your door as you can see we have three keyframes to make the door a bit stand longer for a while let's delete this keyframe go back to the second keyframe and just move a bit and then press again another third keyframe here on the last just close it just like we did before keyframe again so what these four keyframes are doing is that the door is going to open here and then it's going to stay open for this interval and then it's going to start closing after that okay so let's just check it's going to open <clears throat> wait for a while and then it's going to close perfect the next thing is the car so just like we did before let's go back to the start of our timeline select the car press the keyframe here go to the frame where the door starts opening fully press another keyframe then right about here Let's just move it in the y direction let's hit another keyframe let's go back and check okay i think we have the animation but the timing is not right so what i want to do is Go back and select the car again. So I want this car to start moving a bit earlier. And just expand this. Go back. Yeah. Let's just make it a bit realistic now. Let's go back, play the animation. So there you have it. All you have to do next is just render, open your locations. Just make the video, save. Finally, you're going to have an animation like this. So there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next one.